Well, I'm back with another video on my rooted in a color. This time I'm showing you the CM7 ROM that I have put on there, which completely wipes out all traces of the um, stock software that auto neutered leaves on with Android 2.1. But now this is basically stock Android 2.3 gingerbread. In fact, let's go right here and we'll check this out. First for proof, there it is, 2.3. So this is indeed gingerbread. It is the uh, Cyanogen Mod version of Gingerbread. Now this is just a nightly. It's not even a. It's not the stable version. It's not even a release candidate. So they are still working on many things. Yet it is already um, refined. Now one thing I like about it, it is extremely smooth compared to the auto neuter version. I do have this overclocked in my set C my set CPU app. It does go to the 1100 max, not the standard 800. Of course, it's doing 800 right now because I'm not doing anything. But this is definitely overclocked, and that does help with the smoothness. There's not much of a lag. And I even have this ADW uh, transition animation, which sometimes causes lagginess, yet it handles that very well. So we have that. Doing this, removing all traces of the Barnes & Noble stock software, we don't lose this as a e-reader. I have my Kindle app which is kind of a slap in the face to Barnes & Noble, although they at least offer free classic books. Barnes & Noble does not. Then I have my Nook app. The Nook app isn't exactly like the uh, software that comes with the Nook stock. However, um, there are some things like page transition animations. There are a couple of things they add. Overall, the reading experience is the same. Um, it works as well. So you have that and you're not losing capabilities as an e-reader by putting on um, gingerbread. Now lastly, um, I shouldn't say lastly, we have a couple more things to go to. In another video we mentioned that there's only one button on the Nook. There's no menu or back button so they had this thing called soft keys which I think you can still inst install here. I don't really need to because menu and back is built into the uh, bar, the notification bar. Um, that comes with CM7. So that does the trick. Now if the bar, in fact let's demonstrate that. I'm going to hit the button. See I'm up here. I'm hitting the menu button. It's bringing up the menu. That is, I don't find this inconvenient at all. It's a little small but it, it's out of the way. It looks nice unlike soft keys. So we have that. Um, now occasionally if the notification bar disappears what I did was I remapped my volume buttons which you don't use that much. I have volume up now as back and volume down as menu. I'm going to hit volume down and see the menu pop up. So that's another option. So that's one of the biggest drawbacks with the Nook physically I think was the buttons and that is solved quite nicely here topic, let's discuss Flash. It is built in. It's not perfected yet in the current CM7 version, but it does work very well. We have a video right now on CNN in my Dolphin browser. If you click on that, it will download the Flash content. I think it's going to play a commercial, which commercials for whatever reason are choppy. Um, actually, no, because I already played a commercial earlier. I guess it's not. There is the live video. You can't. You can see it. It works pretty well. So of course that's an advantage that some other tablets either do not have or will never have. Flash. It's a nice feature to have. But Flash on demand in the Dolphin browser is even better because let's face it, Flash can definitely uh, freeze things up, make things sluggish. But when you um, isolate it to only what you need, like in this case I only want it on this picture, it works fine. So let's go ahead and get out of there. So overall, once again, Gingerbread 2.3 on here is it's very nice. Um, I just skipped the Froyo ROM that they're working on. I find this one to be a lot more efficient, a lot more smooth, less buggy. Um, even though this is a nightly version, there's still some things that they're going to be fixing very soon. You know, with the resources behind behind the Cyanogen team, that's not even an issue. It's just a matter of time before the release candidate and then later on the stable version is released. If you want to know how to do this, it's very simple. Um, you will have to wipe the data through clockwork, uh, the clockwork recovery 
software that comes with ROM manager. I just did that. I flashed the um, oops, that's not ROM manager. Here it is. I flashed the clockwork mod recovery. I rebooted into it. Once I did that, I wiped the data and I flashed the zip file and I was off. Uh, you also need the Google app zip file, not just the CM7 zip file. So there's those two imperative files. Then when you got things up and running, I go back into recovery. I flash the overclocking kernel, which is also a zip file, and this is done. So there are instructions I will post in the link below on how you can do that. I'm not going to make a video on that because it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I will make one note right now video is not really working um, some apps but if you do want to watch a movie there's an app called rock player light and that plays videos nice and it's very smooth works fine um, until the CM7 team fixes that again that's just a matter of time there's some limitations on that for example in my Flickster app I can't watch movie trailers um, so I'm sure I can live without that but as far as everything else, they, I mean, even uh, go into Google Maps and the location lock is instant. There you go. Once again, it found right where I was. I mean, look how smooth this is. It's a great touch screen. In fact, right now, I believe I'm not even on the maximum uh, brightness. Let's see if I can turn this up. Yep. There you go. So I don't know if you notice the difference, but the screen is pretty bright. So there you go, 2.3 gingerbread on the Nook color. To me, this is where I'm staying for a while. Honeycomb is fun, but it's not nearly ready for prime time, not in any way, shape, or form. Froyo, I think, is kind of stalled because ever since gingerbread came out, that's where people have been going to. So I believe this is the near future for the Nook color is to use the CM7 ROM. That is your best bet. And to me, even though some people say the auto-neutered auto 2.1 stock version is stable, the most stable option, there's too much of that Barnes & Noble software down here that gets in the way. It's just very awkward. This is this is stock Android. It's very close. It's not, um, it's not bloated in any way. And it's extremely smooth. CM7, gingerbread, that's the ticket on the rooted color. Again, two thumbs up.